Hi guys, and welcome to this week's live stream. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait and see uh, if anyone, if I can, see, if anyone taps in, so I know if this works or not. So the reason for this one. Last week we made a live stream about the coronavirus and the fear about it. And at that point, the perception that was to be shared was very much to help creating a bit of understanding and a bit of peace in the process of what is going on. The fear around it. So since then, <laughs> since then, Europe started locking down. That means that everything like, uh, <laughs> like gyms and restaurants and even airports start logging down schools and we basically have a world as panicking we have people who are emptying the shops for a lot of uh, groceries and stuff like that so what i want to do is i just want to i want to look at a few perceptions perspectives together one of them is if we look from a higher perception and hi tanya can you can you tatiana can you tell me if you can hear me so if we look from a higher perception of reality, then in crisis situations, what happens is it brings the best and the worst in people. <laughs> because when we are in a state of fear, we tend to react, not always rational, but we tend to react from a state of survival. If you, are to, if you want to control a population, a uh, way to do it, is to hold them or lock them in fear, right? So what is happening right now is that a lot of people, there's this big wave of fear. And as I said in one of my posts just not so long ago, is that the thing that, that I fear, the thing we should fear is not really the corona, but the reaction and the behavior of humanity. So, we have this virus thing, which is of course not good from, if we look at it from a human perception. Um, but this is not the thing that's gonna, it's, this is not the worst part. <laughs> we, we're gonna survive this. There will be a f amount of people who will die, and, but there will also be a, amount, a big amount of people who will survive and we will then, we will create antibodies for it. So uh, it will be a justice like every other vaccine, uh, every other, um, <laughs> what is the name of it? Influenza thing that exists. But the thing that we are going to do is that we, now fear spread, right? And people are reacting upon this fear. People are reacting from a state of survival and this creates a lot of chaos not only on a personal level but also on this financially worldwide level so i've been looking into what we can do and i wanted to bring some light into this thing because we see the darkness we see the fear we see the problems we see <laughs> we see the financially destruction and for all the smaller companies this is going to be a big challenge so let me let me tap out and bring a different point of view a different perception just to balance things out in this time okay if you look at it from a very high perception then this was a part this was meant to be. It is a part of a movement. It's a part that was needed in order of creating change. So <laughs> when we are in this crisis situation, as I already said, we either uh, bring the worst in ourselves to the surface or the best. Where there will be a lot of fear and a lot of pain, there will also be a lot of love and holding together, sticking together. One of the things that I kind of love is that during this logout, 
it brings every human, it brings them out of their perception, out of their comfort zone, out of their, this is what I have. And it, it brings them into 14 days of, I have nothing, I can go nowhere, I don't know what's going to happen. It brings you to a state of the unknown. It brings you to a state where you are truly vulnerable. And also to a place where you can do nothing but surrender. Surrender to the moment and see what can be created in the next. We can only change what we can change. You know, I always compare this with, I told you last week also, I compare this with with the skydiving. When you're in the air, you have two choices. You can either freak out, but you can control the outcome or you can surrender. You still can control the outcome, but which feeling do you the best? So during these logouts, I would uh, appi- appeal. I th- mm-hmm, I don't know this word. Well, I would suggest <laughs> that you look at it from a different perception. Tap into the feeling of completely surrendering. Surrendering to being with yourself, seeking inside. Surrendering to go for walks in the sun with the trees. Of course, not around humans. Follow all these rules, of course. But really use these logouts as a break. A break from life, a break from busyness, a break from all these everyday structures and deadlines and timelines and all these things that we think that life is about. And tap in and feel within yourself what life truly is about for you. When we have these fear aspects, it brings perception and perspectives. So when you are this much out of your comfort zone, you are brought to a place where you have to reconsider what is life really truly about for me? What is life really truly about for us as humanity, as a unit and also as a family? I So today when I was out running, I looked at, at uh, my own life. I had a few episodes which... The feeling I could link to this kind of situation, right? So, energetically, um, to be locked out like this could feel like a prison. But it can also feel like completely freedom. It depends how you look at it. So, long time ago, I was married. <laughs> and I was I felt locked up. I was in a relationship I couldn't be in. And it was violin and I was scared and I completely lost myself it was literally a prison I couldn't go anywhere I was afraid of everything and 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 I was in a situation when there was like no way out so what I did was that I surrendered every day to the moment going through all the panic and feelings because they are there and then surrender to the moment and make the best out of it so (laughs) within your prison How can you create a feeling of love within that prison? How can you create a feeling of freedom within that prison? And with that feeling is integrated, you will realize that it's no longer a prison and you can leave. So so the reason I draw this uh, line is is, it's like energetically, energetically, if you feel trapped, you feel are in a state of fear, a state of survival, you will constantly attract these kind of energies, these perceptions, these impulses. If you are have create, go through it every day because there, these waves will be uh, all over the world. You know, you will tap into it on and off. But if you every day go through it and come to a state of being inside where you feel trust, where you feel silence, where you feel free, where you can appreciate the time you, you have together at home, you can create you can use this time loop for creation of new stuff for creation and self-awareness on a different level different scale um so another thing i wanted to draw this line to was like after this marriage i was completely i was dropped on the floor 
<laughs> I felt like nothing. I ended up at the mental hospital. I was seeing seeing things. Well, I still see things. But um, I felt... And I was homeless. And I was... Uh, there, was, there was, I had like zero. I felt like zero. I used to be this high class professional boxer kind of thing. And all of a sudden, I was just... Nada, no, nix, nothing. So when you are at that point, you have choices. And those choices is to let go of the ego perception, let go of what you thought you were. And seek in to rediscover what you are and what you can create from exactly this moment. I am bringing this into the light, this feeling, this aspect because I know that a lot of you guys will be financially hit by this a lot of people with small businesses and stuff like that will feel this kind of fear so where we are standing is that we are standing at that point of of what do I do what am I without this you know I've been working for that yes but who are you so if we choose to look from a different perception then okay whatever you have built is beautiful but we cannot change whatever it is it is like <laughs> we have to surrender to the moment make the best out of it and then creation okay so right now the first step is to step into fully surrendering to find peace within the moment where we are in this log out where we we recenter where we link to a feeling of love compassion and peace when the world start opening up again well that should be the, about the moment where creativity and ideas would be able to pop up so whatever worry will not be no longer but whatever we are to create might be even better i am bringing this perception up because i we as i told you guys we know the fear we know the panic <laughs> And, and, we, and we know all, all this heavy stuff. And I want to bring the light so we have the balance. So I want you to know that I see you. And I'm not uh, neglecting any of the hardness. But it's important to bring the balance. Because within the balance we can create an outcome. Which is a vibrationally match to what we, what we wish to create. Okay, so... Um, As I see this Corona thing, but I told, in the, I, I already told, I can retell. I see it has a peaking, peaking part, and then it will slowly disappear. So for you, the perception of which I hold, it was never created to be stable, to be standing, but to make like a shark, you know. And <laughs> for these world leaders who are controlling whatever is happening and have a plan with the financial stock market, whoop, whoop. <laughs> what we can do is we can see it, we can realize it, and we can choose how we want to navigate within this. So instead of feeling that the system are controlling you, then see the system and use it in the way that you are able to flow within what is or flow in the direction of what you wish to create. We are one unit. We are in this together. And what I really love about this virus thing is that in a way, even that it is set up like we should separate, it actually can also shift the perception into us standing together as one. The virus doesn't care if you have money or not. It doesn't care which nationality you have. It doesn't care which color you have. Black and white, thin and thick, we are in this together. And that, my loved ones, that is unity. This is what we've been asking for. So the universe have a funny way of showing things, right? It's not always the way we want it. <laughs> but it is exactly what we ask for. So to really, once again, I'm not neglecting the negative, but to look at it from the positive side. This is a lead in the recreation and reconstruction of feeling of unity and 
it is creating so much chaos <laughs> on such a global scale that the world will change from this way forward. So the important thing is that it is up to us. It is up to us to create the outcome of what will be. We are the people. We are the union. We are the one making choices. So when you go down shop tomorrow, you're the one choosing if you want to buy all the toilet paper or you want to share it with your neighbors. This is the moment where we can choose to stand together instead of separation. So this was it for now. I just wanted to bring this aspect uh, to the Corona talk. And it's probably not going to be the last because the the episode is far from over. <laughs> but um, yeah, and, and just be okay. Know that this global, so there is this global wave of fear, right? Global wave of fear. So if you wake up and you have these anxiety kind of feeling, don't worry. It's not like you are about to die but it is that you are tapping into that frequency of fear because it is uh, floating worldwide and bring yourself into the state of love into peace reconnecting with your family and your true in the values and trust me we can create beauty here i have no doubt every change leaves rooms for good and for bad so let's stand together in creating a world reality we wish to be a part of from now and forward. So thank you guys. And I don't know how this comment thing is working. Somehow I always tell people, leave comment below, leave questions and etc. But maybe I am sort of kind of uh, not sure if I activate it. So I'm going to re say that one more time. Leave uh, comments <laughs> so I know how it felt for you. Or if any question, leave them below and I will answer them next time we talk together. I wish you guys a beautiful, beautiful Sunday it is today. In this part of the world anyway. Um, yeah. And we are in this together. All of us. Love, light and compassion. So no neglecting. It is real. It is there. But we are real. We are here together. Namaste.